Project Utopia is about the ideal way of youth setup that balances the functionality, practicality, and the cost of the build. In the first video about Project Utopia, I went through my economical setup for my youth. Through time, I noticed changes may be needed in order to take my build further. I have decided to swap the well body to a flat tray. This series is about the DIY building process of my Utopia flat tray. I started the project by building the rear board of the flat tray or the end of the flat tray. Since I believe it was the easiest part of the whole project, that's why I started with this one to build my confidence. Well, I'm not a very experienced welder, but it ended up pretty all right. The way I've done that was to cut out the unwanted pieces. Uh, so leaving one side attached of the rectangular hollow section. Uh, so just to bend them into the right shape. Tack weld and finish weld. After building the rear board of the tray, the next step is to build the tray ladder frame. The ladder frame is the easiest part of the whole build and is also most productive and exciting. After you've seen the whole frame that is fully welded, you can kind of see how the tray looks like already. And that actually makes you really really happy for the whole build. But guess what? That is the easiest part of the whole build.
Once the top was removed, I saw that as a golden opportunity to swap the factory fuel tank to the long range tank. So this long range tank is from Outback Accessory, 120 liters uh, capacity. So it's probably able to extend my fuel range almost double, not quite double, but uh, it was a pain in the bum to put this into the car. Um, it took us almost a couple of days to fully um, have this assembled. After the long range tank was put in, the next step was to fabricate the tray mount. So the trickiest part of the tray mount is that it involves moving the tray on and off the car quite a few times and by the, by the time the tray is made, um, it will be pretty heavy. Uh, so once the tray is up on the car, um, and just have to measure out the, the distance between the chassis mounts and sort of tap well the tray mount on uh, while the tray is on the car and once it's done you sort of move move the tray off the car and do the finish weld So folks, the easiest part had been done. The following few fabrication jobs are rather small, but quite difficult and time consuming to be completed. And I'll show you now.
perfectly. Oh, not really. 